This is Father Michael Nabaa with our daily word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and Brothers, who were in Judea, heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God, so when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter told them, After I got to Cornelius' house and began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remember the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, Father Barry and I, are often entertained and sometimes we are distracted at prayer oh yes that you can happen to us priests by the wildlife that visits our premises the squirrels the deer and the birds especially the geese one of these Claim the neighbor across the roads, lawn, for itself. It was soon joined by another. Evidently, once they had marked out that territory for themselves, they decided to also claim the lawn in front of the presbytery. While they were on this lawn, our lawn, one morning, they looked across and saw that a third goose had flown into their lawn across the street. They immediately flew over, cornered the new arrival, and cordoned it aggressively off their territory. I can remember myself protesting, but there's more than enough room for three, for hundreds on that lawn. The first reading presents us with a struggle to create room for pagans, for the Gentiles in the early church. And it is room against this kind of what I refer to here as territorializing mentality. In the end, Peter's realization, enlightened by the Holy Spirit, that there is more than enough room for peoples of all tribes, all nations, races, languages, even creeds in the church and in God's heart. That realization won the day. We heard Peter say, If then God gave the Gentiles the same gift he gave to us, 
when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? Elsewhere in the New Testament, St. Paul is more straightforward. God has no favorites. My dear friends, how open are we in the spirit of the early church to be welcoming individuals and be part of a welcoming community. I come from Cameroon and a proverb from there has it, a house is never too full to welcome another human being. We pray today that such too may our hearts be open, welcoming to all those who are our brothers and sisters. Amen.